When doing experiments with various types of paints and gessos, what I found was there were a lot of things, a characteristics, I guess we could call them, about certain types that are really positive, or I should say would be positive depending on what you want. So I'm breaking down the various mediums that I use here and sharing with you some experiments. Specifically, we'll do one at a time because otherwise this would be a really long video. And today we're focusing on the Prima Marketing. This is the Finabear Art Basics line. This is the heavy gesso, okay? It's white. What is gesso? It is, I think of it as paint primer. It is primer for your surfaces. Uh, anywhere you would use white acrylic paint, you can use it. I like to use it usually actually lately in place of white acrylic paint. Now this particular one, look how nice and thick this is. I say nice and thick because one big advantage of this particular brand and type is that it is really great with stencils. Most gesso I do not recommend. It is too thin and it'll just goosh all over underneath your stencil. This one, it is as thick as a lot of acrylic paints would be and you absolutely can stencil with it. It is, it is thick enough. It is wonderful. Um, that's a really good use for it. I don't, I, I do use it if it happens to be out, but it is not my favorite to primer my art journal pages. And the reason is it is a little heavier, it is a little thicker, and I have to kind of work to get a nice thin coat. And it takes a little longer to dry because it is a more dense product because it tends to get when it applies, it's a little thicker. So it doesn't, it's okay, it works just fine in my art journal, but I tend to use this more uh, when I'm doing a mixed media card, when I'm doing a canvas project. It works really great when I'm trying to paint over, say, metal embellishments and buttons to do some techniques like that. It's fantastic. Now, if I take, and I have a Distress Spray Stain, it does not matter what kind of stain you, or product you want to use over. Here's something I notice. When I'm using mists, you know, with mists, you're really known for getting all that fine little detail. Now, what I want you to watch is as this dries, right here I applied the gesso and let it dry and let it dry because what I find is a couple things, and that's what I'm showing you here. Uh, number one, once once it's all the way dry, and I, I do say all the way dry, and you'll see why it soaks up color so beautifully. So if you are trying to get really rich, beautiful, saturated color, if you want the gesso to really soak it up and pick it up, this is a great product because you can see how it just absolutely took in all the color. Now, the one thing it will do is because it soaks up the color so much where we had super, super fine speckles, it's not quite as fine anymore because all the color soaked in and it spreads, you know, as it does that, it kind of spreads out. You can see how much speckle variation you have here on the plain cardstock versus here where it just became more solid. Now over here, look how different the color is here to here. When it is wet before it has dried, it does not soak up color the way it does when it is dry. When it's wet, it kind of repels it. You get only a little bit. You can see the difference in color here, here to here. I mean, you saw me, I just sprayed once, it's the one color. And this tends to be, in all the different mediums that I've tried it on, this tends to be the case that while it's wet, it's not really absorbing color, but once it's dry, it really, really does. So. All around, really great product. Since this is in an eight ounce little tub here, um, the per ounce cost is better than a lot of the products out there, or at least equal to. And for the right thing, as you can see, if you're stenciling, if you're if you're wanting to get rich color and you know have it soak up mediums, it works great with watercolors, with gelatos, with um, all, all kinds of things it's, it's working really well with for me. Here is some, uh, stain color in a water brush here. You can see, um, it's really smooth. It's lovely color. Coverage is good. 
definitely a product I recommend for the types of projects that I've mentioned here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I will be back as I continue this look, in-depth look at various liquid mediums.